Hello everybody, this is a standard 10 board practical in which we are going to investigate the total internal reflection through two prisms. This one has one angle 90 degree and the other two has 45 degree. This one is an equilateral prism wherein you have all three angles as 60 degrees. We are going to only take up a case in which the light is incident normally to the surface that is the light falling perpendicular to the surface in which the angle of incidence is 0 degree. We are not going to consider any other angles 10, 20, 40, 60 over here, only 90 degree case to the surface or angle of incidence 0 degree. So first of all, we would be requiring few softboard pins. So I have taken about four softboard pins, two of different colors. Then we would be requiring a wooden pad in which these softboard pins can prick very easily. Few A4 size sheets of paper and I have placed two pins, softboard pins diagonally such that the paper doesn't move during this entire setup. So okay. let's start the experiment. First of all, we'll put the prism at the center of the A4 size paper and then we are going to draw its outline. Like this one and then we are going to name this as A, B and C. Now we are going to incident the light from this surface BC and we'll observe that the emergent light will come out from the same surface. Let's try this with the help of the laser light. This laser light is falling at an angle of 90 degree with the surface. So you can very well see this ray of light bouncing back and coming out in this way. So we would be expecting the incident ray then the refracted ray and finally after of total internal reflection the light come out, coming out from the same surface. So let us draw an incident ray at an angle of 90 degrees. Now this is your incident ray at an angle of 90 degree to the surface or the angle of incidence is 0 degree because the normal is again on the same line. Now I would be placing two pins, one very very close to the prism and the another one at least 5 centimeters away from this pin. So somewhere over here would be absolutely fine. Placing back the prism and now I would be checking the images of these two pins from this surface and this surface. I should not be seeing any images of these two pins from here because the light after bouncing back would come out from here itself and the emergent ray always produces the image. So there is no emergent ray coming out from this surface. So let's check that. So we are looking the prism from the top. We can notice that no images are seen from surface AC. Now we'll move on the other side and we'll check the image from the end BC. All right, we are at the side BC and then we are very well able to see the images of the two pins over here. You can see the two images of these two pins from surface BC. So what I would be doing is I would be taking two softboard pins of different color and then these two softboard pins of the red color needs to be placed such that these two images and these two pins appear to be in a straight line. For that you should be closing one of your eyes to do this experiment. Now you can see that all four pins appear to be in a straight line. Now this is our emergent ray. Seeing the entire setup from the top, now very carefully, I'll remove the pins and mark the locations at the pricked points. Now I will remove the prism, then I will join these two pricked points with the surface BC. This is the emergent ray. 
Now, what is the angle of deviation in this case? Because this incident ray and emergent ray are anti-parallel, the angle of deviation is 180 degrees, which means a ray of light wanted to go in this direction, but now it has been turned by 180 degree and it is going in this direction. So the angle between the incident as well as the emergent ray is the angle of deviation which turns out to be 180 in this case. Now placing a fresh A4 size paper, placing the prism over here, again fixing two pins so that the paper doesn't move, I am going to highlight the prism in this way. So now the outline of the prism has been made. Okay, this is, let me call this as A, B and C. Now since we are talking about the light incidenting at an angle of 90 degree, so I would draw an incident ray which is at an angle of 90 degree from the surface. I would be arranging two pins again, one very close to the surface and the another one at least 5 centimeters away from here. So suppose this is 15, so somewhere around here this is 6 centimeters distance between both the pins. Okay, now I am going to place the prism back at its place and I would be expecting the ray to be totally internally reflecting like this and coming out. Let's check this with the help of the laser light. So suppose like this you can very well see that the light should come out from here. Okay. So I would also like to check whether the ray is coming out from this side. So let me show you. From surface AC we are unable to see any of the images of both the pins which we had pricked earlier. So we would be shifting our orientation on the other side. All right, now we are able to see the images of these two pins over here as expected due to total internal reflection. So I would be placing two pins over here, another two pins over here such that all four pins are in straight line. Now all four pins, the images of those two pins and these two new pins are appearing as if they are in a straight line. That means we are done. I would be removing these two pins. The picked locations are to be marked and then I will remove this prism and then joining these two points like this with the prism surface BC. Now, sorry, this is your emergent ray. Now, this is the incident ray which I would extend it forward. After reflection, it goes like this. So, it was supposed to be going in this direction. It is going in this direction. This angle is the angle of deviation which is 90 degree in this case, clearly visible. I did not use a protector over here, right? It has to be 90 degree. 